good morning it has been a while since i last vlogged i last saw you after my charlotte mills event and i can't lie i had i had a slight breakdown after that that was that was just a week for me i was putting a lot of pressure on myself i got home the next day and ryan said to me how did it go and i just cried it didn't go badly it went so well but i just cried because i was just feeling feeling a lot of things and with that and all of the wedding planning that we still had to do i just needed to pause for five seconds <laughs> and i'm actually feeling a lot better for it i've wrapped up the majority of my work before our civil wedding i mean i say that i'll probably squeeze in some kind of last minute job the day before because that is who i am but my to-do list is now looking very clear which is so nice i literally think the only things we have left to do on our to-do list are like just the paying people which just comes as and when they invoice ow oh oh she's gonna be bored soon wow it's kind of rolling downhill from here which is really nice because trust me midweek last week you <sighs> you would not have wanted to see me i didn't want to see me but it's not great there are still a few things that we are finalizing and i'm not gonna lie our uk hi by the way i feel like i've just i'm just stumping on you i need to catch you up real quick so we've got places to be today welcome to my life so that's my life thank you so much for spending time with me i hope you enjoyed it because i know i did i can't lie our uk venue has not been super smooth sailing i think we've had like a change of team about three times and i can't count the amount of times i've had to relay the same information like i just feel like what's the point of me speaking at this point so really not been loving that there were a lot of last minute changes that we needed to make literally like a week ago you know when things just add to your to-do list and you're like we really didn't need this but thank you thanks yeah we still got some things to sort through like my wedding dresses we we made some tweaks we've made some tweaks so today is actually my second fitting of the week <laughs> i'm very excited so we're going to london today to sort through my uk dress because obviously that is for my civil and it's a little bit earlier so i'm going up to london today to get that all sorted i'm also going to get my third dress fitted to me as well and then we'll do the ibiza dress next week which i'm so excited about but today we are working on the civil dress which i just i love my civil dress so much so this is going to be a very nice afternoon also extra nice because my sister-in-law to be is going to be meeting me up there along with my friend ellie and my sister-in-law to be is actually having her bridesmaid's dress her final fitting so we're gonna do it at the same time which will be lovely on that note i need to ask them if they can still bring out my ibiza dress because she needs to learn how to put me in it. I'm loving the hair. The rollers make such a difference. Wow, this is so nice. I made an extra effort with my hair this morning because I've just been feeling a bit crappy about myself lately. So I wanted to do my hair today and just feel nice. So yeah, I curled it as I usually would with my GHD curlers and then I put it into rollers. I use medium sized ones for the bottom. The mid sections, which are actually the longest sections of hair, I use the smallest rollers to give them a bit more of a curl. And then my top layers, I use the big rollers and I love how it looks. You still get that curl on the bottom but then the top just doesn't look too crazy and has a lot of volume and it's just really, really pretty and it's got a lot of movement. I did this for my new year party when I had lots of my friends over, including Vic and Alex. I think you might have seen photos, but I, I will see if I can pop a photo here. Well aware that I do that and sometimes it doesn't happen, but the hair that night slayed. I just need to put some jewelry in. So I'm super tempted to go for these. I just love them so much. I don't know if they're a bit too big and in your face for today though. These are from my Aurelia edit. If you haven't heard me chirping on about it, I love them. I love them so much. We still have some of these left. We have sold out of the vintage necklace, which I'm so excited for those of you that did get your hands on it. They were actually more available than I thought. I thought there was like only nine, but they were actually way more available. So lucky you guys. And then there's a few left of these. This is the T-Bar, chunky T-Bar necklace, which I just adore. I actually think it's better than the original T-Bar necklace personally, but oh, I just love it. It's so statement, so gorgeous. And then we have the Pebble ring. I wear a size small, medium. I'm obsessed with this. This is just beautiful. And then I also have my bracelets on. This one, this one sold out. So this is the cross tennis bracelet. It's beautiful. And then we have the textured T-Bar bracelet, which is gorgeous. Sorry for my hairy arm, <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's 
beautiful adds such a nice texture and i really like it combined with like other bracelets especially ones that don't have like a texture to them i think it works together really nicely but i also have these earrings domed earrings which are really nice for every day they're like statement but not too statement let's have a look i feel like such a weird mixture of emotions today i don't know if it's just because we're getting so close to the wedding now like we are so close and I don't know if it's just a feeling of overwhelm because I feel like I want to cry but I can't pinpoint the reason like the emotion behind the wanting to cry I think it just is overwhelm more than sad nervous or anything like that All right what are we doing vintage I say this maybe my choice of jacket today will actually talk me out of this I've got two jacket options for the day so i'm just wearing a skims vest top these are my favorites because i like a low neckline and they just fit so well also if you get the skims bras i'm wearing a it's like a triangle bra that doesn't have clasps at the back you literally just like whip it on so comfortable gives you such a good lift but it also works perfectly with the skims tops like they you, you can't ever see them so i love wearing the two together and then i'm also wearing cos jeans these this is the first time i've worn these jeans in probably about six months i was scared they weren't gonna fit they do plenty of room so it's just always scary you know when you haven't worn a pair of jeans in so long and you're like i don't know that these are still gonna fit but yeah a nice surprise that they do but anyway this is my first jacket option it's a gorgeous suede brown jacket from massimo duty i really like this i don't know if maybe i should change the color top i could put a black one on i like it though i like it. it's nice and cash or i of course have my favorite 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 jacket in the whole world yeah i think i might have to change the top underneath but i love this jacket this is a burgundy leather jacket from jane and tash and it's just stunning though i did wear this on tuesday to the same place <laughs> So maybe I need to wear something else. I also have this, this long suede trench, again from Massimo Duty. Oh, the first time I tried this on, I just tried it on with my pajamas. <laughs> so I wasn't really getting the full look. So it's nice trying this on with jeans. It is nice, but I don't think it's cold enough for this yet so i'm gonna stick with the jacket it is very chilly today though i think it's three degrees this morning which compared to what we have been having is very very chilly i'm gonna stick with this this is cute i'll show you my full outfit in a second oh my god my new glasses arrived my new glasses have arrived i'm so excited this could be an absolute tragedy but let's find out together shall we oh my god oh, the packaging it was worth ordering for the packaging alone what is that that is adorable oh my god it's like a little it's a little case I mean, oh, oh my god it's got a cat underneath oh my god it's so cute oh my god the Mew Mew pink is just the best color pink. i kept seeing these glasses and i just love them i just love them oh cute the case is like the normal sunglasses case but like mini so i need to have my prescription put in these but let's see if they work on me i'm scared they're a little bit smaller than i would normally go for it's so hard when the light is reflecting what do we think i'm i'm now not sure it's really hard like i feel like these lenses are really reflecty my other glasses i don't think they do that that's really weird so it could just be a lens issue but i need to know if like they look good ignore this but what do we think are they cute no i actually i really like these I need to take the orange sticker off, but I really like them. It's giving, like, hot secretary, but more casual. I like them. I'm getting really sick of the same, like, square glasses that I've been wearing forever. And I do, I do think a tortoise shell suits me, so... Let me know what you think. This could... Oh, my God. Some people are probably going to hate these, but... I think this definitely suits me more than my regular square. Let me show you my regular square ones. To be honest, Anna Delvey really ruined wearing this style of... Oh, my God. This hurts my eyes so much. I've got contacts in. Anna Delvey ruined this style of glasses for me because now she's all i see when i wear these this is cute with like a little ponytail on the front bits hanging down i'm making the call i'm keeping them i think they're nice she says i will probably go back and forth over this decision for a good week or so so feel free to tell me <laughs> whether you hate them or not something about me loves them something about me does not no i think they're cool i think they're cool anyway quick ootd i have got chanel sunnies on 
because I can't find my tortoiseshell YSL ones so hopefully they turn up at some point I may switch sunglasses during the course of this vlog Massimo Dutti jacket duty Dutti whatever skims tank cos jeans please ignore my washing behind me at least I did it and then I've also got my mango interesting little fishnet shoes not quite ready for trainers or uggs quite yet so yeah this is what we're going with hi Hello. I thought you'd be gone there next to you surprised when you left. <laughs> Thank you. They're so cute. They're called the bobbly, the spiky ones. Mm. They're called thistles. Mm. They're beautiful. They look quite cool. Thanks. <laughs> made the horrible mistake on Tuesday of getting a cab and not the tube and best be sure we did not make that mistake again today. She's on time. Stunning. Okay. I think I'm in this one today. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I also got the molly. Oh, right. I think it needs a little bit just around the shoulder, the shoulder straps and the Hi. chest. I think they, they said it was okay to bring in for alterations this week as well. Thank you. Have you got your shoes? I do. I actually just didn't take them out the bag after she <laughs> said. Working smarter, not harder here. So, how do you feel about it now? It's amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Good. I just feel like it skims. Yeah. It's been left Everywhere out, we, we re-cut the side panels. It's perfect. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, good. Amazing. So this is the Molly dress. A lot of you have seen this on TikTok. But yeah, we are just having this taken up a little bit. And then also at the sides and the shoulders, because I have no torso apparently. So this is the before and this is the after. I think she's perfect. Also very excited because I get to take my UK dress home. I didn't know if I was going to be taking her home today, but she's perfect. Here she is. <laughs> oh my god! What's even better? What's different? Oh, I don't know. What is? Oh my god, it looks amazing. <laughs> oh, Hi, honey. Are you okay? I'm okay. I don't want to come near the white dress. Air hug. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh my god, you look so tall. I'm not in heels. <laughs> You're so short. <laughs> So you can have these as wide or as yeah. you like, you no. just position them how you want it to be. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, your oh waist god. looks amazing. Thanks, that neckline is unreal. It's so nice, isn't it? The only yeah. thing I don't know if I need to do is like pull my boobs up. Oh, always. Because should I I've... take the gloves off to do yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. We're done! <laughs> That's literally your side. <laughs> Dress number one. We got there. We made it. morning so i fully left you in the lurch on friday goss was happening and i needed to fully focus like the tea the tea was being spilled and it was very important that i was mentally present it was a really lovely afternoon and eve what is my dog doing you know when you hear them make the gagging sounds and you're like not please not on carpet but yeah it was a really nice afternoon and evening and then i just took the weekend to spend time with ryan because i feel like We've just both been so busy recently. I felt a bit sad about that. Like in the run up to our wedding, we just like hadn't really spent that much time together. So I just took the weekend to spend time with him and it was so nice. We went and did a sauna, which is one of my new favorite things. Honestly, what has happened to me this year? I've gone from being a margarita loving princess to being a matcha sauna loving vegan again apparently you guys i'm entering a whole new era it's the end we are truly i i fear at the end of an era and i am apparently in my wholesome girl era currently so um yeah we'll see if this is a phase or a lifestyle but yeah so far i'm loving and i i'm loving the sauna and i was fully fully that person that stands next to someone whilst they're cold plunging which yes i did also do saying over my dead body i will never be doing that five minutes later it turns out cold plunge is very nice after roasting yourself i think the cold plunge actually might be my favorite bit but would i do it without doing the sauna first absolutely no way but yeah i'm interested to see if i enjoy it as much in the winter the first time i did it was actually a really cold miserable day and it was lovely and it's equally lovely on a sunny day we live by the sea so we have seaside saunas which are just 
beautiful so yes my bridal era is being combined with my being very wholesome era which i was not expecting because it's just not what i expected for my bridal era quite frankly nor for 2024 20, in general but here we are anyway today we are picking back up on the bridal get ready with me the get ready with me to get married situation which today involves going to get my hair done which i'm so excited about because i haven't i've just been having my roots done and then a toner over the summer that's just what i do every year now because i find it helps stop my hair getting mega dry so i just really like to not add highlights throughout the summer because the sun adds them quite naturally anyway but also I find if I put bleach on my hair if I like use bleach for the highlights even though my hairdresser is so careful and she uses like a very I feel like it's a very low bleach bleach <laughs> that sounds so dumb but it's a very like whatever product she uses is a lot more gentle even though we use that I do find just any form of highlighting on my hair and then I travel so much the sun is really strong and I find that my hair just gets so dry and I can't be I know there are hair UV sprays but sometimes it just doesn't work with the hairstyle that you want and I often travel for work and I can't just have a slick back bun all the time so that's the long way of saying I haven't put any bleach on my hair this summer not since well before my hen so I'm really excited today to I think have some little highlights I really want some lightness around the front I always find at this time of year we get to the point where there's a lot of lightness around the back of my head and then not really anything going on at the front and it just looks a bit strange it's just how my hair tends to go after being in the sun all summer so looking forward to getting that sorted and just feeling nice and fresh my autumn color is always when i look back at photos it's always the best my hair ever looks because i have my hair done and then it doesn't really get too much sun exposure so it just stays really like a really beautiful color i don't know why i'm putting makeup on to go to the hairdresser but here we are this is apparently the kind of morning we're having okay i do recommend putting makeup on before you go to the hairdresser though especially if the lighting's not always like immaculate vibes because sometimes i just feel like a bit of a toe right i think i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna feel like a toe either way so it is what it is really isn't it we are going to go make a smoothie because my hair appointment is over lunchtime and i don't want to get crazy hungry whilst i'm in there so little snack for the road we're going to walk to the hairdressers today want to keep those steps up let's go that's so surreal seeing my dress hanging here <laughs> my ugly barley tote bag if anyone remembers this from last year's vlogs this saved me on the way home still use it literally all the time i really hope this doesn't leak please don't leak thank you i have to take my emotional support water bottle which you're currently sitting on top of so i don't have the hands to carry my smoothie as well headphones very necessary this perfume this is a throwback if you have been watching me since like 2014 which is scarily a decade ago <laughs> oh my god <laughs> a decade ago wow tom ford velvet orchid oh it smells so good i think i'm gonna have to be wearing that all autumn because it's just I forgot how good it was. We're good to go. Go get my hair did. Bye, Stinky. Love you. <laughs> Sun is fully out. It's stunning. Allegedly, allegedly, it may be amazing weather on our wedding day. I've literally been wishing for great weather all year, but not the day I was manifesting the good weather for, so I'm gonna need to be more specific. Looking very cute in the chair. Let me show you today's inspo. So this is roughly today's inspo. This is, to be honest, my autumn inspo every year. After the wedding though, I would love to go for something a little bit darker like this, but with the same light bits running through the front. What do we think? So tempting, but yeah, we're just going for something like nice and light and like mid, mid brown today oh can't wait i'm hoping these like light pieces at the front really pop ready for the big day i'm actually doing this quite close to my uk wedding but actually i think this will look perfect and at its best by ibiza and that's that's the most important one really but yeah oh so excited for it to be all nice and fresh it's time oh is this gonna listen yes time to crack out my smoothie i brought my pink sparkly straw from amazon <laughs> stunning this is a vibe. The front pieces as well, mm -hmm. when we did those, like they're good, but I think just like the real front pieces, I think would be nice, like a fraction shorter. Yeah, of course. This is the best spray. 
You can get this on Amazon. It smells so good and it makes my hair last forever. This is the heatless curl spray I use. So nice. My heatless curls are nothing without this. So you think little trim? Yes. <laughs> it is quite long now to be fair. Just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Tiny, tiny. And then last time you said the layers needed some TLC. Yeah. Yeah, because they were a bit dry. Snippity snip, 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 snip. Just really putting the pressure on you. The precision. <laughs> I'm home. This is the finished colour. It's really nice, very subtle, but there's just like extra lightness around the front, which is so nice. It might not pick up as well on camera as it does in real life, but there's just so much more lightness up here and it's just so nice to have a little refresh. I definitely need to add some texturising spray there. My hair always goes so like soft after I have it cut and coloured and I like it to be like big and bouncy and have a lot of texture so we're probably gonna need a little bit of texturizing spray in here but yeah it's so nice it does feel so short though it doesn't look it at all yeah i had quite a bit cut off the ends so that it's just really lovely and healthy i can't wait till after the wedding i'm probably gonna add more highlights to really give contrast but i just didn't want to do anything too bold before the wedding like this looks just like lovely and natural and really soft so yeah i'm very happy with it but yeah i need to go and oh my god it's so you know when your hair just that like <laughs> you post hair cut it just doesn't it wants to do its own thing and there's nothing you could like it's just gonna sit where it's gonna sit and you can't really do anything to controller anyway i need to go and do some cooking because my mom and dad are coming over for dinner so i will see you guys tomorrow for what i think might be my final 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 wedding dress trial ever i'm so sad and so excited and i'm so nervous all at the same time halfway through today i got hit by a really weird wave of like nerves and anxiety and it was very strange came home and ryan was like yeah same so yeah kind of funny but anyway let's go cook some sausage and mash don't mind me, I am aware I look insane. It's about to get worse because I am actually doing this and then I'm going to fake tan. So this is probably the most attractive I'll ever look on YouTube. But I got these, these rods, these things, they kind of pop around in a circle and you basically roll your hair, like roll it, wrap your hair around them and roll it under. I find this really hard to do because my hair is so many different lengths. But yeah, you wrap it. <laughs> and roll it, but it's meant to keep your blowout blown out. I'm still figuring out the knack of the back one, like the top one I just got. So like when you wrap it and roll it, you twist it round to the front and then secure it rather than I was twisting it backwards, pinning it, and then it wasn't going very well. But I'm still trying to work out which way around it needs to be for this back one. But I tried this the other day and I, though I looked insane, it actually did, I got in the shower after and it really like reset. My hair changes a lot if it's hot or humid and it basically like the heat and the moisture in the air like re fully reset my hair. So I'm doing it again tonight because my hair needs all the help it can get. It's just very flat today. So you then take these little things, like a tiny mini, Hair net, wrap it around the little rod thing. It's not really a rod, it's very soft. It's like a tiny heatless curl wand. Okay, it's tan. We're getting to the point where my tan is about to start fading and my self-esteem can't take it. So we have a fresh, a fresh bottle of saint -Tropez. Also got my mug of peppermint tea. I have this after dinner every night. This is my evening routine, post-dinner my mug of peppermint tea. I feel like it is actually like helping me not be bloated after I eat dinner, so that's good. I'm gonna get some tan on myself and get an early night. Ready for wedding dress alterations round, what round are we on now? I think it's like round three or four tomorrow. I, oh my God, I look so tired today. I needed, I needed more foundation. Wow. Anyway, I'm gonna hopefully look a lot better tomorrow. So I will be back with you then.
Good morning! I thought I would show you my outfit of the day before we rush off. So my outfit for today is casual because I really don't need to actually, like the outfit is not really necessary, but I'm just being polite and not going in in my pyjamas and or like a tracksuit or something like that. So I have got leggings on, of course. Please ignore my alterations pile behind me. I've got leggings on because comfort is key. I then have a skims tank top on as always these are an autumn staple for me and then i have my mango coatigan on which i have had for so long lots of you will probably remember this from previous years they bring it back every year so if it is already available for this autumn winter i will link it go move fast because it sells out every single year but this is amazing i'm in love with this i have had this since 2017 no 2018 and it has held up so beautifully it's amazing and just like the best color you can dress it up dress it down it's so nice for jewelry i have my aurelia square studs in these are the best like everyday staple earring they're a little bit statement but like still perfect for wearing every single day and then my chunky t-bar necklace <laughs> my engagement ring is so loppy today it's that time of year where it just does that we will not be having this issue much longer actually very excited about that and then i have the domed rings these are two separate rings so you can buy them individually but i like to wear them together i think they look so good these are in my aurelia edit they are like the t-bar necklace part of the luxe line so the t-bar necklace is waterproof you could shower in it you can sweat in it you can do whatever you want in it amazing for when you go away on holidays like i can wear this by the pool and look really chic but not have to take it off when i go in the water stunning my friend ellie has the t-bar necklace from the last collection and she literally literally has not taken it off since i gave it to her and it's still perfect she showers in it everything in it sleeps in it everything and these rings are the exact same so you can shower in them sleep in them that, i don't think that would be i take all my rings off at night ah, i can't fathom sleeping in jewelry but you could if you wanted to you could they're waterproof and they're amazing and just gorgeous and then on my wrists we have got the tennis bracelet and the textured t-bar bracelet so yeah that is my jewelry for today and then i am just going to throw on trainers because i want to walk back from my fitting to the station i hate 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 getting the tube so if i can avoid it i always do and if i don't have meetings i always wear trainers to london and just walk around london it's gonna be cash but cute at the same time thank you so much bye bye. i'll see you so i'll see you next next friday yeah, and the friday after <laughs> and the friday after <laughs> okay. see you That's later. Funny. bye, bye. bye. He's almost alive. <laughs> Should we go get a coffee? Yes. Do you think Starbucks will be angry at me if I walk in with a Joe and the juice? I'll it's hide it. Morning. I'll hide it, yeah. Smuggle, the smuggler in. <laughs> the new um, chocolate flex, by the way, very, very nice. Oh, is that very good? Very nice, yeah. I think they changed like loads of the menu. And it's, it's very nice, I like it, would recommend. Okay, my Ibiza wedding dress is all signed off. And I'm picking it up in two weeks time. For those of you that are new, I'm having my civil, which is the wedding that is very, very, very soon. And then I have my Ibiza wedding, which comes after that. And then also the other dress that you saw me get altered on Friday, that is for Ibiza, but in the evening. So I'm having three dresses. I'm very spoiled girl, very spoiled. But now I'm just walking along the park, back to the station. I do a full walk from Halfpenny, which is basically in Euston to Victoria Station. So we're gonna get the train home. It is a gorgeous day today, it's so sunny. I'm actually walking in the shade because it is so hot. I am roasting in this cardigan. This is my favorite view of London, of the whole of London. I think this is my favorite. Good morning, everybody. We are stuck inside the house today because I am waiting on my bouquets to arrive. They are faux flowers, so they're arriving a bit early, but yeah, I'm waiting for them to arrive because I still have no bouquets for me or my UK bridesmaid. My cousin is being my bridesmaid for the UK. We also have none of the decor items that I have ordered. They're still here. As you can imagine, I'm not not overjoyed about the last minute.com-ness but oh my god what has arrived are my candles for the wedding oh my god i've never seen so many candles in my life this is my heaven oh my god, it smells so good 
so good. We have so many Jo Malone Marin Tonka candles. This is the base scent that runs between both of our weddings and it's so nice, like very vanilla-y and smoky and gorgeous. This box, MNC Mimosa and Cardamom, is that the one? Yes. Oh my god, it smells so nice. It's so like warm and fruity. A little bit spicy. So good. And we also have more in this box as well. Wait, are they all mimosa and cardamoms? Wait, what were we? Pomegranate noir, mar and tonka, and mimosa and cardamom. Are they all that? I'm confused. Where are the pomegranate noirs? I wonder if they're coming separately. I'm gonna check the delivery situation glad i checked this because at present it's looking like we're missing some fragrances but they might be coming separately i just need them to arrive really soon oh we have them in travel candles or oh, maybe that's what we're doing okay so we have them in travel candles maybe they've been swapped out yeah because there's three six nine yeah okay so we have little mini pomegranate noirs and these are all gonna be sandwiched in between all of this stuff this idea was the brainchild of one of the lovely ladies who works at jo malone in brighton i think her name might have been sandra she's so nice and i was talking about how i still had nothing like no florist for the wedding the florists were not getting the vibe i beat the wedding there are no issues with Ever. it runs perfectly i am not worried i'm just gonna turn up and have the best day this uk wedding has been the stress like it continues to be the stress of my life people that do diy weddings on like a grand scale i don't know how you are doing it because this is tiny and i'm still so stressed yeah it's been it's been a, it's been an ordeal and the floor for some reason like the good florists wanted to charge obscene amounts for the fact that it's the world's smallest wedding like the most intimate wedding ever and i couldn't justify that and then the small florists just weren't we weren't on the same page so yeah, I have done some floral arrangements myself, which I will show you when we're at. I'm literally staring at two big floor arrangements right now, but I'm gonna save it until the actual day because I just think it's nice. You'll get to see them in the situation as opposed to in my living room. But yeah, I've done the florals, like the floral arrangements that could be all done already. I've done them myself. And then we also have this huge box and I did my mum and my brother's girlfriend a tutorial on how to set all of these things up and then they're gonna have all of these candles of all different sizes and different smells dotted in between them and I think it's gonna be so nice. So we're having pomegranate noir, which is very obviously pomegranate-y. It's very berry-esque, very fruity, very sweet. And then you have mimosa and cardamom, which is like citrusy, sweet but spicy and then marin tonka is obviously tonka bean is like vanilla -y and smoky and the three of them together make the most incredible warm scent like it's so deli like it's edible deliciousness i think the best thing about this wedding will be the smell of it it's going to smell amazing and then we also have a box of oh my god I don't know if I showed you this. This is for Nala, because she is gonna be one of my bridesmaids. This is how we ended up with this wedding. This wedding was meant to be a small town hall thing. And then I was like, oh, can I bring the dog? And then we found this other venue, which I at present would not recommend, but it's dog friendly. And yeah, I was just so hell bent on us being able to have our dog there that we basically ended up with a whole ginormous second wedding ginormous but like whole second wedding that's how we ended up in this situation because i was hell-bent on having my dog there so just in case you ever wondered why i did this to myself it's for well, the mini love of my life we have to have her with us on the day but anyway i have got that bow and then we've also got loads loads of these little glass bottles which are like vintage style so they're just off amazon so they're not like the fanciest but they will do and we've got lots of like faux calla calea calla lilies got lots of those and then i've also got a few of these flowers as well i love these these are so fun yeah i've got quite a few of those that we can pop in these vases as well i originally wasn't going to do all of this i wasn't going to go this far i was just it was just going to be us all having a nice 
chilled dinner. Then my mum's like, you have to decorate. And when she starts giving you the eyes, she's like, you have to decorate. How can I say no to her? So here we are. We ended up, we have decor. So yeah, lots of little mini assorted vases. It's like kind of rustic feel in this venue. So I just wanted to keep things in line with that and just really let the venue do the most. And then I just add like a few little bits here and there. So this has actually all been relatively non bank breaking so far like those faux flowers that whole box was from home sense and i think it cost me 100 pounds which the florists <laughs> what the florists are charging is insane and actually i have so many people i know that are also getting married and will probably take these off my hands after like literally snatch them out of my hands so they'll be going to good use front now i just need my bouquet to magically turn up in the meantime, whilst we wait for my deliveries, we are going to get packing. So for the legal ceremony, it's actually very local. However, I decided to just, I didn't want to get ready at home. I wanted to get ready somewhere nice. And I, at the last minute, decided we were going to make an actual special occasion out of it. Just once again, turning this very small situation into something entirely unnecessary. So I'm going to be staying at a hotel. So I'm staying the night before our civil wedding because technically you're meant to like stay separately traditionally you're meant to stay separately anyway which we weren't going to do but i've decided now to do that so i have somewhere nice to get ready the next morning especially because there's going to be so many people and i just didn't want that many people like ryan's groomsman will also be with him on the morning and i was like this is going to be so chaotic and that's not the way that i like to get ready like on my own i would have enough people with me it's just gonna be too much so i am staying at a hotel and then we've decided to keep that hotel for the actual civil wedding night as well so me and ryan will then we'll go back there and it would just be really nice like i think it's gonna be really nice and then the next day we can wake up and like have a nice day out and just it's gonna be like a lovely lovely few days so i'm just i'm hoping a small suitcase is going to be enough we all know I'm massively an overpacker. I see comments all the time that are like, why do influencers pack so much stuff? What you don't understand is the giant ass tripod that you are currently on, it takes up a good this much of a case alone. So that's why we always have way too much stuff because literally my suitcase is like tripod, hair stuff, skincare, makeup, and then clothes on the backside. If you wanna take shoes, good luck. Good luck. That's why influencers overpack because we have a lot of stuff that you don't see and we don't bother telling you about because it's really boring. I need to decide what I'm going to wear outside of obviously the wedding, like the night before and then the next day and I want nice, nice outfits. So what am I gonna wear? This feels like a big decision. I do have a few bits that I tried on in a TikTok the other day. I do have this, which is very fun. It's nice with like a pair of trousers. I did have a skirt that goes with it, but the skirt needed taking up and that has not been done because poor Debbie, she's broken her finger. So um, none of my alterations were happening this week, but it's fine. It's not like I don't have enough things. So I could wear this with the trousers instead. It's very, very fun, very girly. I'm going out for dinner with my friends the night before. So that could be like nice like girls night out vibe these are the trousers that i was talking about these are my odd muse ones which you will have seen if you watched the boat trip vlog i love those i will probably pack these actually just for the weekend in general because these are amazing and if we're doing those trousers there are so many tops that could go with those i could do this odd muse white halter neck could be quite nice this is still a little bit too long on the neck strap but i can make it work just for the weekend and then maybe for like the girls dinner i'll do this blazer i had two blazer outfits from that video one was the odd muse blazer and then the other one was this blazer i think this one's a bit i don't know i really like the shape of this one with a nice pair of nice pair of heels i wore them with black heels in the video but i do have either pair of some charlotte mills shoes these are the mia shoes these are amazing i love them i wish i'd designed them because they're gorgeous but i also have these sandals which could be quite fun i am trying not to ruin these though before the wedding but i've worn them so many times now that i'm like i might as well just carry on wearing them but yeah love these and these could be really cute with that as well so maybe i'll just take a few 
pairs of shoes. I also have these which I'm gonna have with me on the day anyway so that's another shoe option. And then maybe I'll take something for if I want to dress comfy. I've got this long sleeve low back almost knitted ribbed style maxi dress which is just lovely and it looks nice with a pair of statement earrings so I think I'm gonna pack that in case the weather's not amazing the day after i need a getting ready dress i'm really struggling to decide on my getting ready dress by the way i'm aware a getting ready dress is very excessive but i'm fully on board with this so you obviously have a lot of photos taken when you're getting ready for your wedding and i didn't just want to be in like my pajamas or underwear I'm, i get really cold all the time at the moment i'm really struggling with this like summer to autumn transitional period at the moment i'm freezing like 24 7 so i didn't just want to be in like a tiny pair of shorts so this is like a really long satin dress and it's got this black lace at the top so it's giving like nighty vibes but like quite cool i love this and i think it would go so nicely in the hotel that we're staying in for our uk wedding but equally i love it so much that i'm tempted to save it for the ibiza wedding i can't decide i can't decide i also have the white dress that i wore for my charlotte mills event which i could also wear tbc on that i feel like that's that's it and then it's makeup skincare tripod hair things all the hair things steamer can't go anywhere without my best friend i'm gonna take my jewelry box this is a stackers jewelry box full of my aurelia edit i have a few bits that i need to get from downstairs that's why this bit is looking empty these are going to get worn a lot over the weekend in both gold and the silver yeah those are going to get worn a lot and then these are also amazing as well i need to decide oh my god now i have my wedding dress home i need to decide what earrings i'm gonna wear with my wedding dress it's gonna be the hardest decision of my life bags like what so we have this bag this is one from oliver bonus i think but you can get them so many places now mine is very old and loved as you can probably see i've had this for maybe going on six plus years it's still gorgeous i love it this is the bag i actually took when i got engaged it still has my hotel room tag in it because we cut them off for the engagement shoot i think i might take that but i also have this gold one from zara and it's just super simple and just very cool like really adds like a modern twist i also have this new one from anthropology because you know i love these little bottega dupes that they do in this gorgeous like cranberry burgundy color i think that goes quite nicely with white because it's not as stark as a black i think i might take these for the girls dinner i just think they're so cool they're so cool and i actually haven't worn them since when i was in paris at the start of the year this will be my first wear this half of the year they are so uncomfortable though i can't lie it's also looking like i might need to have sunglasses on my wedding day which never well my uk wedding day anyway which i never ever ever would have thought so i think i'm gonna take these these are my ysl ones i think these will go best with the dress out of everything i had i, I don't like the need to wear sunglasses with a wedding dress but i don't want to be like outside and squinting if it is and like looking annoyed at people because <laughs> i tend to if i'm squinting i get like well not anymore but i used to get like frowny lines yeah actually do i need sunglasses if i'm not going to be squinting because i can't actually frown but i still don't want to be like that so yeah sunglasses i think these ones are the best very important invisible underwear for the wedding dress if you need like a nothing nothing piece of underwear i will link the best victoria's secret little tiny weenie g-string type thong that i have found because it is the like i wear it under all of my like naked sheer dresses and no one's ever noticed i think we've got somewhere so i'm just gonna pack most of this into the case and just have at least 50 percent of it done eee, can't believe i'm packing for my wedding how mad is that wow the day is finally here quite mad really because there was a point where i thought i was never gonna end up getting married so we made it not entirely sure we're gonna have space for the tripod you guys the medium suitcase feels so excessive maybe if i put all my shoes in a bag in like a tote bag that i should not forget yeah guys we're gonna need a medium case <laughs> i can't do it. if there's a time to overpack i believe it's your wedding just know that i always have the best intentions i don't try to overpack on purpose i don't want to overpack no one wants to lug this thing around i think this is a good start and as we get closer to leaving the house this will just naturally fill up my hair looks so much lighter i didn't feel like yesterday it looked lighter but it really does I'm obsessed so nice I love the layers as well. The layers, I was really scared about having layers added back in. I'd spent so long growing it, I didn't want to cut it anymore. I didn't want any more shortness, but actually I really like the movement that 
it's giving to my hair. Very happy with that. Love that. Hallelujah. That was touch and go. I actually didn't think these were going to arrive and we are not around for deliveries tomorrow. So, oh, my scissors are breaking, that's good. I thought the bouquets were all gone. Me and my mum were actually just talking about whether we could spruce up some three pound as the bunches of flowers. Oh, thank God this too, great. I've got my cousin a bunch of flowers too, because they're faux, she can keep them. Very cute. It goes really well with her dress actually. Her dress is floral and I think this is gonna go really nicely. Like the flowers are actually quite a similar tone, but she's got the lilies that I already have some of. These ones are much nicer to be fair. And then I don't know what these other flowers are called, but they're very, very sweet. I'll show you my bouquet because that's exciting, isn't it? This is really cute. I've seen it in real life before, so don't mind me whilst I'm very underwhelmed, but I have been holding these whilst I've been in half penny every time I go in there. So it felt quite fitting that these would be the bunch of flowers that I go for. Again, I love these. I think they're called anthuriums. Anther um, not entirely sure. I'm going to call them anthuriums. Peonies. Hydrangeas which are really nice because I've got hydrangeas running through everything and also two big uh, dahlia flowers, which I love because I love them and it's also nice and semi-seasonal. I mean, the hydrangeas this time of year are fully on their way out, but it feels nice. And then we've got another little flower. I don't know what that's called on top. Just need to leave these to sit out and like reshape themselves but it's so pretty i think this is a good size for me as well i'm glad i didn't go any bigger like this is a medium size and it's rather large on me whereas this the large and then there's like an xl but either way i did not need something humongous this is as big as i wanted to go to be fair i could have easily done something like that that would have been very sweet as well the thing i like about these is i can obviously like keep this after which is stunning so that is gonna be probably it for me from this vlog. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. And as much as I would love to bring you along with me whilst I get my pedi from Ella, which is like the highlight of any special occasion for me is getting a pedi. There's nothing quite as luxurious as that. And then the torment of me doing my own nails at home and the pressure probably making me crack. <laughs> um, I feel like we just need to end this vlog and I just need to like get my head in the game. Even though this is just our civil, like I really wanna take a few days to like get my head in the game do my beauty prep normally i would do it on camera with you but those treatments are not quite aligning with our video schedule so i'm just gonna have to love you and leave you and i'm sorry that you're missing out on me fake tanning for the 50th time this year you've seen it before i'm doing my own fake tan i'm doing my own fake tan for all of the weddings i know some people love a spray tan i'm gonna do all my beauty stuff like in terms of that myself the only thing i have had done is my hair and my pedi and i'm having another pedi for ibiza and botox and that's literally it. And I'm just looking forward to like doing it myself at home because I know my routine, I know it works, I love it. I'm very happy with it. So I'm just gonna take a few days to do that myself and just chill and yeah, it will be so nice. So this is over and out for me until next week when I will be getting married. So I'll see you then. <laughs> love you, bye.